We're here in Seram, proving ground, close to Paris in France, where the jury gathers for the last testing of the seven finalists for the Car of the Year 2015. It's a composition of 58 of the most professional car reporters in Europe. I was really happy to see the cash car in the shortlist because to me it's a very interesting car. It combines the technology of the SUV with these nice small petrol engines which are very fuel efficient. So in that way it makes it possible for people to buy this big car in a very economical way. This is the new Ford Mondeo. The design is really good on this car. It looks really nice on the outside. And in the inside, it's got real roominess and real good comfort. We've been testing it outside here on the racetrack and the handling is really good and the steering feels very, very good. And I guess this car is going to have a lot of points in the final voting. For us, it is the biggest prize in motoring. To have this logo on your car means such a great deal to the people who designed and built this car. But also for us, it means that if you are a consumer and you want to know what's the very best car out there, if they see that logo on there, they know it is the very best that they can buy. This is the new Mercedes C-Class. We have tested the car under severe conditions in Lapland, down to minus 40 degrees, and the car performs very well. On the road, it's very comfortable. Uh, it has a very high level of safety. And all these things together is making this one of the good cars on the shortlist. This is the new Citra C4 Cactus. It's a kind of a French Revolution. The car is much lighter than all other cars. Its design probably is a bit strange, but it's a kind of new friendliness. People on the street like it, and for me that's a very good reason to vote for it. This is the BMW 2 Series Active Tour. A first for BMW insofar as it's the first to have front wheel drive, but also in many ways it's the first time the BMW brand has embraced the family car ethos. This car is on the shortlist largely because it'll be on a lot of family shortlists. They're looking for the functionality of a family wagon and yet the premium cachet of the pre BMW brand and proper premium fit and finish inside the cabin. And that's why this car is on our final shortlist because in ma for many families it's going to be on theirs. Car of the Year is such a special prize. We've won lots of awards and we're grateful for winning many awards on C4 Cactus already. But the accolade, the real one to win for C4 Cactus is Car of the Year. And if we win that, then that is a real judgment of how well we've done, recognized by journalists across Europe. This is the new Volkswagen Passat. It's not a very innovative styling from the outside, but from the inside, the cabin is very high quality and very roomy. The boot itself is also very large. In terms of handling, it's a very nice car to drive because it can have a very comfortable ride or a very efficient one. It deserves to be here, one of the finalists of Car of the Year 2015. This is the new Renault Twingo. And the special about it is that they changed the concept and the engine is now in the back of the car. And now it circles around itself, makes it to a perfect city car. The only sad thing about it is they got some weak engines in and if they had more power, I would even love it more. We won with the Polo in 2009. We were really excited winning with the Golf again in 2013 and we are more excited than ever if we could win it with the Passat again. We have soon finished our testing here at the Ceram track at Mortefontaine outside of Paris. Now back to the Geneva Auto Show. How are things there?